welcome to this edition of All About Hopkinton. I'm your host, Mary Arnott. All About Hopkinton is the HCAM show that brings you information about people and organizations in and around our wonderful community. The show today is about a nonprofit organization in town called the South Asia Circle of Hopkinton, or SACH for short. Today we will learn about their directors, when SACH was founded, their mission, events, and how to get involved. My guests are represented from the board. I'm delighted that they could be on All About Hopkinton. So welcome to Ruta and Addie. Uh, Ruta is the president and Addie is the Secretary of Governance and Operations. Thank you both for being on the show today. Our pleasure. And also thank you, thank you for being patient with me. I didn't want to mess up your last names. Oh, oh no. So, <laughs> Ruta, if you would say your whole name, please. Sure. Thank you, first of all, Mary, and You're thanks welcome. for HCAMP for giving this opportunity today um, to come and talk about such um, or South Asian Circle of Hopkinton. Mm -hmm. um, my name is Ruta Aplaker. Um, Upalekar is how it's said, but I won't go into too much details, but it's, uh, I'm the president of uh, South Asian um, Circle of Hopkinton. Okay. Um, and Addy, your yeah. full name? It's Addy Nadkarni. And once again, thanks so much for having us. It's a pleasure. Uh, I'm just absolutely <laughs> thrilled that you both could, could get here today and, and be on the show. So we're going to talk about many things about the organization, mm -hmm. to introduce it to people in our town who may not be familiar with it. Sure and to talk about events and things that are coming up. Lots of good news here, I think. Yes, oh, yeah, absolutely. We're busy. <laughs> Which of you would like to start, maybe tell a little about the organization, how it got formed, what your mission is? Sure. I can. Yeah, you uh, can. I can right? take that. Sure. Um, so we are a 501c3 nonprofit organization, and mm -hmm. we were formed um, last year. We are very new, um, September of 2018. And um, South Asian Circle of Hopkinton, the name mm -hmm. says it, uh, most of it. Uh, the main mission was to get together the South Asian community in, in town. Mm -hmm. um, but not only that, and limited to that, uh, we also wanted to um, get together the different communities or other uh, organizations within the town and see, you know, uh, just um, partner with them, build awareness, um, and just showcase, you know, talents. So mm -hmm. on the cultural fr front, um, our main mission was to uh, provide a opportunities and avenues to the community, the South Asian community, but also uh, engage or make, make it possible for people to engage in the civic engagement aspect of the town as well. So um, that, was, that was why we were formed. And um, it's, it's just been a, uh, a wild ride and a, a really uh, fun, fun, fun time for this one-year anniversary uh, that we just finished last month. So, well, I mean, pulling together any organization is never easy. So, Absolutely. how did you get the word out to people about the organization that was forming and how they could get involved? How were you able to reach out to different people of the yeah. South? Asian so, I think community? it was it was Ruta's brainchild in a way. Mm -hmm. There are. You know, we, we actually came from different neighborhoods and and we are well aware of, you know, similar kind of organizations, right, that mainly are cultural platforms to share the culture, the diversity with, with you know, the rest of the, the community. And that was the, the sole idea is to get together again, you know, as Ruta, Ruta mentioned, mm -hmm. our people and then, you know, share our culture with the rest of the community at the same time, focus on civic engagement, community outreach. And so Ruta picked up like just she started reaching out to people I guess via WhatsApp or just like yeah, email, whenever yeah. we would run into somebody you know we would be like should we just you know get together yeah. come up with some kind of a strategy a plan and we can formalize it at a later date and we were just lucky to pick like the right set of people mm -hmm. in the like with the when we met up as the as a core team for the very first time I think we picked like the right talents because yeah. as Ruta mentioned like on day one we had uh, a vision but actually to get here there's there's been like an, an evolution of sorts and it's really yes. been because of all the contributions of the of the board members and their the many talents that they bring so uh, I, I, it was just yeah, yeah it, it just happened yeah. kind of yeah. exactly so uh, just to add one uh, add more on that point of mm -hmm. like um 
we never started out with with like forming a non-profit organization but when we got together yeah. we knew we wanted to do more we wanted to be involved in the community of Hopkinton of our town and also um, like give back um, in any which way we can our time our volunteer work or um, you never know what will come up so uh, like you said, yeah, it was a evolved. It just evolved into this this amazing and beautiful um, organization, and it's all the board uh, members that drove and, it. Yeah, and we consciously like keep looking back at our mission or charter. There's the yeah. cultural aspect of it. There is also, as you mentioned, the community outreach piece of it, where we see to it that on a calendar year we have like one event that focuses on something like that, which is you know, built for the community as a whole, one where we have a celebration of, of our festivals, of our culture, where we can engage with uh, the, the broader community. And then the third aspect, as we said, is, is mainly like community outreach, where uh, we want to pick a cause that, you know, we can do uh, so that we can give back to the community based on all our fundraising efforts. And what different cultures and countries are represented in your organization? Just if you can name a few of them then. Uh, yeah, there are many. Uh, uh -huh. So I, I will do are. justice <laughs> yeah. to everything. Um, so let's start from east to west. So South Asia, um, from the map, if you look at it, and mm -hmm. you can. Um, so there's Pakistan, there's Afghanistan, there's India, of course, which is, um, um, uh, and then there is Bangladesh, Nepal, um, Sri Lanka, and Bhutan. Uh, and you Myanmar. currently have members from all of those countries, do you know? In your we do have some representation because, in fact, much? yeah. Mm -hmm. So when we get to talking about this uh, celebration that we are having, that's exactly what we are planning to showcase, mm -hmm. is just the different regions and countries within the Indian subcontinent. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, literally like Everybody. reached out to people yeah. and through connections yeah. found, you know, people that can represent some of these areas. Now, some of them, based on availability, may not be able to make it to the event, mm -hmm. but uh, but there is actually representation yeah, of most of these, uh, you know, of all of these countries, I, I would say. So, uh, yeah. go ahead. Sorry, um, just just to um, make it clear that we mm -hmm. don't have a membership per se with our um, organization. It is open to everyone mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the sense if you're interested to find out or just have a curiosity of what this is about. You don't need to like, you know, uh, right. sign up to be a member. At this point, uh, we are still working. Like I said, we are formed like one year mm -hmm. ago and we did get um, uh, uh, suggestions on like, hey, you know, what do you need to do to become a member? So at this point, we we do represent the South Asian um, diversity uh, in the town, but mm -hmm. We don't, you know, enforce a membership to be a part of this. So, okay. just do you have any kind of like if somebody does want to join and help you with events and things that you want to do, uh, do you have a membership fee yet, or are you just no. relying on donations at this point? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Right. So, uh, so again, like we have uh, a bunch of events that are ticketed events, mm -hmm. but then there are also others which are like free events. Like mm -hmm. we had the Festival of Colors that we celebrated on the Hopkinton Town Commons in early spring yeah. um, and that one was again a free event for all of the community to just come together uh, you know spray colors there was music there was food uh, there uh, so so those are the kind of and for those events is where we really look for support from like local businesses um, in terms of sponsorship uh, so Hopio was was one of the sponsors there was RSM and you know so it was great to have that kind of support too and then for the ticketed events we do, you know, that's where we again raise some money and, and you know, if there is any funds that we have, that, that's the, those are the ones we kind of dedicate towards a cause or anything like that. So. Okay. I know, Addie, you started to talk about this wonderful event, big event that mm -hmm. you've got coming up and we're going to get to it in sure. a minute, but I just want to follow up a little bit on membership and whatnot. And since you rely on donations at this point in time, um, do you have a website uh, or someplace people can go for information and if they want to make a donation to your organization? Yes, mm -hmm. we do have a website okay. and we are on social media. We are on Instagram and we are on Facebook also. Okay. So if you look up South Asians, you, you have to type the whole thing in um, on Google and you get us and um, South Asian Circle of Hopkinton dot org. Um, is our website, and you can I, I we can share the details we'll on put the website yes. at the, yeah, the bottom of the. And we do have a donation credits. button on there where we, you know we just again yes. we explain our mission, our objective, you know what we are really looking to do, and the support that we need, and we do have a donation button on there too. So 
again. <laughs> yeah, and, and to, to add one more, I think, um, yes, we rely on donations, but we also did uh, this year, we ventured into an, uh, a South Asian member um, of the community who uh, is uh, working for UMass uh, Boston and um, uh, she, uh, Tej, uh, Tej, Professor Tej, Professor uh, Tej, Tej, Tej yes, Delvi, yeah. Delvi um, she helped us um, organize a, a science engineering, STEM research, um, uh, engineering workshop for elementary level um, school kids. It was a summer camp. Summer yeah. camp, Wonderful. a wow. week long and, and yes, we generated mm -hmm. um, um, money. It was, yeah, we hosted it through that. parks and recreation. And yeah. then uh, it was again for the you know, residents, for the children in our town. Mm -hmm. And uh, they had a pretty neat project too. They were to build like an inclusive playground uh, with recyclable material. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, this plan, we were, we were planning to share it like with the board of selectmen as you know, just to see the, the vision that these kids have about you know, what an inclusive playground looks like. And it was all yeah, led by uh, Professor Tej Dalvi and that was a way of like you know a, a, a community outreach kind of a, a that tick checked that box you mm -hmm. know for us <laughs> yeah um i just had a thought in my head and it went out as fast as it came in oh uh do you hold meetings monthly or and are they open to anyone from the community who would like to come in and find out about your organization or yes okay. um we do uh have me bi-weekly uh bi-monthly bi -monthly meetings, meetings. Okay. um Yes, and, and if we have an event, we do have um, more, mm -hmm. more than one meeting yeah, in a month, for, um, yeah. like more than a couple of meetings. Um, we don't, we don't really post the occurrence of the meeting on the website. Um, we are still finding a venue um, for our meetings. We do use the library for most of our meetings. Mm -hmm. We used to use it uh, because the library is accessible. It's open for everybody. Anybody can come in. Mm -hmm. um, but we recently started um, uh, having the few of our meetings in, in, in the Dunkin' Donuts conference room <laughs> uh, because it's more accessible for people. I mean, it's a resource in town. It's, it's wonderful. And mm -hmm. usually our meetings to accommodate our school timings. Most of us have school going yeah. kids. We have them very early in the morning and around 7.30. Yeah. Um, so we have it near the coffee shop. Uh, but we will plan to update our calendar with the information going forward if, um, if that. Everyone's interested. And calendar on your website. On yeah. the yes. website, yeah. yes. Okay, that sounds good. All right, well, before I forget, let's talk about this wonderful gala that you have coming up and um, tell our audience about what it is, what you're going to have, and just anything you want to let us know about this wonderful event sure, that's so coming. So this is mainly a celebration of one of our uh, you know, big festivals that's celebrated across the Indian subcontinent. Mm -hmm. It's the Festival of Lights. It's called Diwali. And, uh, and actually, that's, that was the occasion that we felt like we should always have, you know, host our, our annual gala dinner night. Um, again, this is uh, going to be uh, held at the Hopkinton Center for Arts on November 9th. Um, it will run all through the evening from 5.30 through 10 p.m. There will be an Indian dinner, which I'm sure everyone looks forward to. And then in addition to that, we are going Asian to have, yeah, <laughs> there are going to be some like stage shows, uh, which again, as we said, are going to showcase the uh, the diaspora of the Indian subcontinent. Like there is, uh, it's so we, we, we pick like a, a fun theme where we, we are saying that everybody needs to hop on this train and travel travel through the subcontinent and as they go to the different regions we will have like some kind of a stage performance in the form of a recital you know uh, uh, some uh, a musical or or like a dance performance uh, that represents and is authentic to that region um, now the the folks that are providing the entertainment are they people of all different it's ages it's all local or? talent and it's all yeah yeah, it's, different yeah. Ages. young people older people just yeah, it's school it's age all, kids everyone, it's everybody yeah, it's okay. everyone, so yeah. it's Folks yeah. from, from the town, the, from the town, yeah, and all exactly. ages, and if they have a talent, they want to get up. Yes, and yeah, there. exactly. That sounds yeah. wonderful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and right. it, it actually is going to be informative even for the members of the South Asian community <laughs> yeah. because we don't know much about even even though we we do know what they are about, but we don't know um, in depth about the culture. So, so you know, just the heritage or the his, his, history of that region and. Um, it's like going to be a really fun experience yeah. just looking at um, what they have uh, put up for us. So, um, 
Okay, so is all this entertainment a surprise, or do you kind of know who's going to be? For up me, on it stage? is. Maybe no, not. we know. We know actually, <laughs> like yeah, mostly who is going to be participating and all of that. But I think what she was. Uh, what she was mentioning was just the diversity so yeah. amazing because as you move from one region to the other the the clothes the uh, you know the language mm -hmm. because some of these songs are probably going to be in the regional languages which even none of us yes. really know very well uh, the even when you listen to the music uh, you know the beats and everything is very different uh, coming from the different regions so just to see that diversity is i think what all of us are really looking forward to and that's going to be something amazing yeah so we really hope you know we we welcome the rest of the town to join in uh, we have about uh, it's we are going to host about 170 to 200 people uh, which is the capacity of the Hopkinton Center for Arts. Mm -hmm. We are again very grateful to them for hosting us. Yeah. And uh, at the same time, we've also started the ticket sales. We have about uh, more than a, more than half of the tickets sold, but yeah. we're really looking for you know more of the community to join in the merrymaking. The more All the right, merrier. audience, if you want to get in yeah. on the ticket, <laughs> yeah. you better go soon. Yep, and we can probably <laughs> yeah. flash the, little, the yeah, flyer, flyer here, yeah, there, with, yeah. with the event. And of course, you can view these e event details even on our website. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> we have periodic Facebook updates also, so you know if mm -hmm. you see one that act fast. Uh, we had an early bird special also, so folks who got on before uh, the the sale ended, um, that's great. Does but it say on here? I don't remember how much the tickets are. Or they, they can are find out. thirty dollars. Yeah. Dollars for adults, uh -huh. and it's like fifteen for, for kids. For the kids, yeah. Yes, and this includes, uh, of course, like there's, a, there's, there's going to be a cocktail bar, hour yeah. too. Uh, it's going to be with a, with a cash bar, of course, but there's going to be a cocktail hour. So as people come in, there's going to be a cocktail hour for socializing. Uh, and then there's going to be the stage shows followed by the formal dinner, like with the, uh, the Indian buffet style. And then following that is where we will just open the dance floor. We have a local DJ, uh, I believe he's a high, high school yeah, yeah, kid exactly. who's going so, to help us out. Yeah. So it's all local talent and from yeah. different areas. Um, and I was just telling her that, like <laughs> our memories going back, like our, you know, when we, whenever we used to have a festival, we would start prepping for it a month prior to that. Yeah. Just in all of the, whether it's prepping the food, the, whether it's also, you know, just getting together and deciding, you know, what gifts to get. It's You just get into that holiday spirit early on. And uh, and this, in a way, for us to to prepare for this event is that is just creating that kind of a atmosphere, uh, yeah. Yeah. experience. Experience. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm glad you mentioned you know adult tickets and student tickets because we want everyone to know this is a family event, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. Please bring the family out, whether absolutely. you're a member of the organization or not, uh, right. whether you're a member of the South. Asian circle or not, yep. uh, everybody's welcome, bring the kids out. Yeah, and the know. kids, uh, just, just to add sure. in before, um, because it's an important detail, we have um, a separate um, loft area for kids, mm -hmm. kids entertainment, because Grown-ups do want to, you know, um, have time or enjoy the <laughs> evening. That's a good point um, to make. So, yeah. Yeah. And, and it was, um, it was a feedback from last year where, you know, it would be nice if the mm -hmm. little ones are engaged in in, a, in an activity which they enjoy. Also, they sometimes get bored um, or you know want to hang out with their friends. So mm -hmm. we have a loft area with we are preparing, um, you know, activities with and entertainment and, yeah. with counselors, babysitting, like certified babysitters, and or not babysitters as in school going kids Bounce, yeah. not yeah. little little ones um, and also a few a uh, couple of high school students who have agreed to baby um, to babysit as well for that evening so um, okay. now will they have any kind of separate dinner up there or is the yes. dinner all oh, together yes, down in the main event they'll have pizza which oh, I'm sure pizza. they look forward well, to <laughs> that's international so. yeah exactly <laughs> yeah, we're very inclusive exactly. <laughs> you give a kid a piece of pizza and they're happy that's sure, I'm yeah. happy <laughs> and the parents are happy also because yeah, then they exactly. don't have to worry too much about you know yeah, everybody's they were, right there yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. And they're not far away so, they can yeah. go up and check on right. it these are kids that they engage with on a day in day out basis in school so it's a fun kind of event for them outside of school to just you know enjoy and mm -hmm. yeah that's that's the well it intent. sounds like a wonderful event again uh, coming up on November 9th of 2019 right. mm -hmm. so um, I hope everybody will be able to get out and enjoy it Absolutely. And, uh, we hope. now again though on the organization uh, you've been doing many different events I saw mm -hmm. on your website that there have been events throughout the year mm -hmm. and uh, is this time consuming for you to pull these things together or you have enough board members and folks involved that you get it all done right 
Well, it, it is definitely it is time a time consuming, <laughs> saying, yeah, but we enjoy like it because it doesn't <laughs> feel like it's it's a workload. Like yeah. just because of the, uh, as I said, this this core team that we have, and I mm -hmm. I don't know if I could just mention some of the names yeah, out absolutely. there. Absolutely, we have Charusmita Ram who leads our marketing, mm -hmm. and you can just see the fabulous work that she's done with the website, our logo. That's all her. Very creative. She's also uh, the community outreach. I mean, uh, communications. Um, she does the communications. Right, right and the communication. Yeah. Uh, outreach and then there's uh, Sushma Tamareddy who leads our uh, tr she's a treasurer um, and she does all the the difficult work with the budgeting and all of that uh, as she mentioned we have professor uh, Tej Dalvi uh, who's again a great add to the team she joined a little uh, later since we got formed and uh, she's done come up with a lot of brilliant ideas mm -hmm. focused on on community outreach we have Minu um, Meena Bharat. Meena Bharat. Uh, yeah. Meena, uh, um, Kaushik. Kaushik. Mm -hmm. Kaushik. Yeah. And, and she's again our community outreach. And she has built like great contacts within the community. She's been around for a while. So again, she comes up with these uh, you know f fantastic objectives that we all then just follow her and take her lead to work on. Um, and then in addition to that, we have uh, Julia, we have Shailaja Bandi, we have uh, Sharda uh, and then uh, Indira. Indira and all of them focus on all of the programs and the cultural programs and getting the teams together, uh, you know, to, to again, as what they they have a big d d work, like a big set of actions for uh, for this Diwali event. So. Yeah, that's our core team. That sounds wonderful. Yeah. I will put in a little plug for a new show that we're going to start here on HCAM called Travel Time. Mm -hmm. So if anybody has traveled back to their homelands and has pictures and stuff and would like mm -hmm. to come on the show and share that, uh, please have them get in touch with me. I just got back from my father's homeland, which is Macedonia, oh, and wow. my grandparents were born there. And it's so important to keep the culture alive. Right. You know, Absolutely. And, um, so I just, I really reconnected with all of that. And so if you have That's anybody great. that also wants to show yeah. pictures of you yeah. know, any of the countries and talk about their trips, we can do that as yeah. well. Oh, That's, That's great. Such yeah, a neat I idea. Mean, yeah, That's really it's, it's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, the, on those lines also, mm -hmm. I would like to also tell you something that we've been doing um, mm -hmm. at the library. Just yes. sharing the um, little exhibits and things. Yes, yes. Yeah. I love those. Yeah. Yeah. Those um, we the just emotions, started yeah. doing that last mm -hmm. year, and it is it gives us such an um, immense amount of um, um, of like we feel um, uh, like Pride very and connection. Yeah, lot lot lot, and then you know we are able to share that on mm -hmm. this wonderful platform that that's the library where people go for getting edu knowledge, uh, education yeah. knowledge mm -hmm. and re research on that um, topic if they want to they can quick grab a book on that topic if they want to know more so it couldn't have been like i i can't even tell you how much it has um, our relations with heather backman uh, from the director oh, of the, she, yeah. uh, the whole staff there is this, the whole yeah. staff is yeah. and um, they get asked questions uh, about the display and they mm -hmm. uh, like you said right if you go you want to preserve your traditions or preserve your knowledge about you don't want it to get lost and mm -hmm. just these little kids curious to know hey why is it why is there an elephant on that display and uh, how many types of elef elephants are there in the world like there's an asian elephant there's an african mm -hmm. it just i was just observing okay, this yeah. conversation on one of our recent displays and mm -hmm. It, it just feels great to be able to uh, share this. We all have it within us, but having a common platform and mm -hmm. um, it's and many other communities have also approached. Heather was sharing that with us that they'd like to share their. Yes, um, there have been yeah, different that idea ones there. Good, yeah. yeah, so. Yeah, it really clicked well. I think we, it was something that we came up with, like, why don't we do this? Like, you know, on a monthly basis, it keeps us engaged. Mm -hmm. And then we all get to learn so much from it. So yes. it was good. Well, I don't know if it's because of Hopkinton's long, long, long association over 100 years with the marathon or what. But I like to think of us as the little home of world cultures. Absolutely. <laughs> I just like a I pot, love it. Yeah. So um, hearing That's about the pot. events that you're, you know, you're going to have soon and the things you've done in the past and your community engagement, I think is just wonderful. I yeah. just, I'm so glad you were here today to Thanks talk so about much. it. Thanks so much. Yeah, look us up. Please yeah. join us, you know, when, yeah. in all of our events. Uh, the more the merrier. Yep. And uh, and again, I think it's, uh, you know, we, we look forward to help in any which way. So again, if you need help, if you feel like there is something that we can do, like, you know, there is any opportunity uh, for us to participate, either in the form of volunteering or to showcase our culture, our talent, then we are all yours. 
So uh, yeah, I, I would start. highly encourage. Yeah, just to add, like we, we like it is work, mm -hmm. but it is a really fun um, return of, of uh, investment of your time. Um, so uh, and we would love to have more participation. So if you are seeing us and <laughs> you know do feel that we have. Um, you have something that you would like to share with the community of Hopkinton, um, just just reach out to us and uh, we'll make it, we'll, we'll connect you if we can't uh, make it happen for you, but we'll definitely, yeah. you well, know, we'll move you, it you forward. You might also get um, contacts from other communities, maybe people of um, different cultures and other communities right. would yes. say, gee, I'd like to know, how did they pull that nonprofit it's organization already. together? It's, oh, it's already yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. We were contacted by yeah. Ashland oh, okay. and they, yeah. they've been, they they are. They have a great diaspora, also of like you know different diverse uh, communities. We've been and struggling to formalize it. Yeah, yeah. So they've asked us to share. Um, you know how it. <laughs> Good, because once this gets out on YouTube, you might even get more calls and exactly. things. So when they watch the sure. program out there. Yeah, and and eHop, we partner with eHop oh, as e well. Is great um, too. Just yeah. just for exactly, this. Yeah knowing what about the town and we are actually going to do something in before the March annual you know the vote that happens the awareness for that they have the main event and mm -hmm. we'll be partnering uh, with them to do something okay in, I was going to uh, ask you if it's too soon to maybe um, talk about any uh, other future events right. after the gala but you've got your hands full so we're working on that yeah so on. it's all in the uh, yeah. on paper and thoughts in the head they'll We'll start working on them after the gala, yes. Well, and it's been a long time since my son's been in the schools through Hockington, uh -huh. but I'm sure there's probably going to be occasions when there could be some school events or something that partner oh, with yeah, you absolutely. and spread yeah. the culture. So that's again, yeah, yeah. And, and again, like, you know, this, uh, the, there is a, on their calendar, on the school calendars, they have mentioned this festival this year, and we were hoping to collaborate with the schools, but again, between our time spent on, on this major event, we want to get it right, and then in the future, as we get more volunteers, more support, I think that's when we'll formalize that idea, but yeah. that's that's really great. Well, Rudy, Ruda and Addie, thank you so much for being on the show today. Really appreciate it. Thanks so thank much, Mary. Mary. Thanks, Thanks for having us again. Thanks again to Cam. Yeah. And to my audience, um, if you would like to get more information about All About Hopkington, go to hcam.tv. And remember, if you or someone you know would like to be on the show and send us an email, you might see them sharing their story right here on All About Hopkington. I'm Mary Arnott, and thank you for watching today. And get your tickets for the gala on November 9th. <laughs> Thanks so much. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you.